This is video two in a series of three where we are discussing graphic symbols and lip syncing. In video one you've been working on these eyes and already learned a lot about graphic symbols. The character's eyes should be blinking like this in the original scene one timeline. Well there's a lot more that you can do with graphic symbols. You will learn how to show frames from the other timeline onto the main timeline in this tutorial. Let's make him smile at frame number 10. In the second layer, the mouth layer, you will see there is a collection of mouths on the right hand side of the stage. These were already converted to one graphic symbol. Open the symbol with a double click. For lip syncing, we need to make use of a variety of mouth expressions, and I have added a little legenda to explain which mouth is which expression. I want to create a little animation for it by placing all the mouths in one same location. I will do that by selecting them all with the selection tool. Use the align panel, which you can open from window, align, to center them horizontally and vertically. Then drag the mouse to the left and place the selection where the mouth should be on the character. Select distribute by keyframe to drop every mouth in a separate keyframe. You can do this with a right click. Please note that it will drop every mouth in a new keyframe, which will end up with an empty first keyframe. Select the empty keyframe with a right click to delete that particular empty keyframe. If you play the animation you will see that the character talks with quite some speed. Double click outside the character to go to the main scene 1 timeline. In here the character will talk rapidly as well and it's looping the animation. And that's rather cool, but this is not what I intend to achieve. Select the mouth and take a look at the properties. Turn off the loop option by selecting single frame and select frame number 14 as first frame. Now the character will stay silent for the length of the whole animation. I want to make him smile at frame number 10, so go to frame number 10 and create a keyframe with the insert keyframe button. Select the mouth on the stage and open the use frame picker option in the properties on the right hand side of the screen. From this panel I will choose frame number 13 to make him smile. It's a good idea to turn on the pin current symbol option. This option will keep the symbol active in the frame picker panel. When you're working with more graphic symbols in combination with the frame picker, then it's helpful to launch a new frame picker panel with this button on the right top corner of this panel. This frame picker is a really great feature to use in your animations. And now I think we are ready for the lip syncing feature. Let's start working with audio and lip syncing in the next video tutorial.